YouTube, it's your boy Loop9294. Coming at you with a quick video. Uh, I told you guys on last weekend, I think it was, that I was going to shoot a video and let y'all know how I clean my rocks. So, you can see the rocks now. This is the before everything starts with these rocks. And I'll show you guys how these guys came out or whatever. It might be in a part two video. It might be in the same video. I'm doing this from my phone, so it all depends on what goes on. But as you can see, I'm just I'm not gonna mess with the background today. I just want to mainly clean these rocks. So once I clean these rocks off, it might be a new rock scape when I finish or whatever. But I mainly want to clean these rocks off, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, I will show you what the tank look like after I take all the rocks out. What's going on guys? I just thought I'd decide to show you guys this. This is the top of my aquarium with all my guys. And straighten the water. The water actually doesn't stink, man. You know how you had that, I guess that ocean odor or fishy smell? It don't have that. Since I've been using that fluid filter medium, it does not smell like that at all. I wish I had smell of vision. It does not smell like it. So that is a good thing. Well, back to taking the rocks out. I'll be back with you guys. Alright, YouTube. I'm kind of tired, dude. Kind of out of breath. As I told you guys, I'm sick in my body. And I do this by myself. So this is the aquarium with the big stones out of it. These are the particles and stuff floating on this side because I just took this rock out. This is the only side that really always have the waste. All the rest of the tank don't really get the waste with this side right here. And that's a good thing because all I do is just take that rock out, vacuum it every week, and that's it. But this is like two, three weeks worth of poop and stuff on this side. Give them to you raw and uncut. And as you can see, this side is Gucci. You don't really see nothing. So you get to see my aquarium with the uh, rock side of it. This right here is how much water uh, dissolves after I take the rocks out. So this is the weight of the rocks being uh, how low it gets after the rocks are out. Try not to get the LEDs in there. But that's it, man. This part on my background, I really, really do like. But I'm always hiding it with the little rocks and stuff that's right there. Think about switching it up a little bit. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. But that's what it is, man. Let me get back to the other part so I can show you guys. Alright guys. Coming back at you. This is where I put my rocks. They're in the dishwasher dude. As you can see. These are the rocks on the top. Of the dishwasher. Close that up. And these are the ones at the bottom. So I got all them guys in there and I have my next ingredient that I use some good old bleach it ain't nothing expensive just some regular old bleach dude you don't put too much bleach you want to put at least a cap full into your dishwasher you let this wash like three cycles two to three times because you don't want the bleach to still be on the rocks after you're cleaning the rocks so that's what I do 
and that's how I do it. I showed you everything about it. I'm gonna try to get the rest into this video. If I can't, I'll shoot a part two. Until then, if I don't get back with you, rate, subscribe, leave comments as usual. Do what you do, man. This is how I clean my rocks. I've been doing this for four years, dude. I did this with all my ornaments that were in my tank. I've been doing this with my rocks for four whole years. I never had a problem with my fish. None of my fish died from this method. My tank didn't get sick. My tank didn't get polluted. Nothing happened. I've been doing this for a long time, dude. So if you got a nice, good dishwasher that works and have a lot of heat to uh, kill all the bacteria and everything that's growing on these rocks along with the bleach, you're good. So till then, I'll get back with you. What up YouTube? Something else I wanted to show you guys about this tank while I was sitting here still rolling the same video. You seen how all the poop and everything was floating around here? Got everything up. That's just pieces of rock. You gotta clean the glass a little bit. I'm gonna smooth all this out. But I've been sitting down taking me a break for about 15 minutes. Look how clear the water then got back. So I'll let you know my filtration is a beast, dude. I took some water out cleaning the uh the poop from out the bottom. But I let you know I got some good filtration going on here. Got the FX5 and I got the Rena XP4 over here. So man, it's doing the job, man. It is doing the job. The guys colored down some. That's all good. I'll be back with you when I put the rocks back in. Alright guys, I'm back at you. Almost done. The fish and colored back up. I'm on my second wash of the rocks. And I'll let you see what they look like. Still got my pumps running up and go. People say that you should cut them off. I haven't had any problems or my pumps or anything I've been using this same aquarium same pumps for a year haven't had no problems so hey they, they still pumping and working you see the FX5 doing this thing and the XP4 arena still doing this thing I got my hose here I got the towel up here because I still got the hose in it and I don't want the water to splash on the floor so I'm coming that up but as you can see it's not a 50% water change I say it's about 35 40-ish about 40 percent my water wasn't bad my water quality wasn't bad so I didn't have to do all that as you've seen earlier in the video, I didn't have that much feces and stuff at the bottom of the tank. So I didn't have to worry about that. Believe it or not, these guys haven't been fighting or whatever. Everybody cool. My VC-10, he was dark as I don't know what before I grabbed the camera. I don't know what happened to him. I guess he was like, he got his camera lighting up, so... That's what it is. My banger. If you've been following me for a minute, you remember you used to have that black spot right there. It is almost completely gone. It's falling off. So I am excited about that. These dudes are tripping in the sand. But I'll get back to you when I put the rocks back in. Alright guys, this is the finished product of the rocks. They are finally finished washing. 
So I'm going to let these cool off for about 35 minutes, probably less. It's kind of cold in my house tonight, so it shouldn't take that long. I'll put them back in the aquarium, and I'll show you what they look like. All right, YouTube, this is the end of the cleaning process. As you can see, the green, brown is algae. Well, the brown is algae is not on the rocks anymore. It is gone. Did up the rock a little bit different, added it closer to it. So, that's it, man. Aquarium salt in the bottom of you can't see it because it's the same. But I put my aquarium salt in there. All I do is put the rest of my chemicals and I'm good to go. I put some prime in there. I'm gonna put some more prime in there. I just wanted to show you guys before I put my uh fluid filter medium in there and it gets cloudy and everything. So you'll actually know. You know what? I'm going to still add it so you guys can actually see what it looks like. So hold on. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. Alright you guys. I add my fluid filter medium. As you can see, it's going throughout the water. And believe it or not, cloudy as this is getting, this will be clear as day in about two or three hours you would never notice that I added that to it it'll back, be back crystal clear so that's the good thing about this that's when you got a nice steady bacteria bloom already in your tank and everything is thriving everything is good it'll actually go away you won't notice it at all So, you seen what I did, you seen everything I put in, I told you what I put in, I put my aquarium salt, put my fluid filter medium, I even put a little prime in there, it's just something I've been doing and it's been working for me, I mean you don't have to do it like that but it's been working for me, so that's all folks, y'all stay tuned. For more videos from your boy Lou, as I said before, subscribe, do all those good things. Any video I like, any video I comment on, if it pops up on your screen, check these guys out because it must be real interesting that I checked out their videos or whatever. Or I like their videos, or I sent a comment. Check those guys out, man. Until then, y'all have a blessed one. Peace.